Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's more Vikings. Which one, Dan? This is episode 19, On the Eve. Yes, it is. Previously, the army showed up. They were supposed to have a fight with King Ayla and his guys, but we got screwed over. Yes. Instead, we got to watch King Ayla get graphically blood-eagled. Which is something, but not quite what we wanted. Yeah, you take what you can get right now. Skull, fam! At some point, you might want to actually do some walls. I guess this is going to have to work until you do put up walls. Nobody's going to walk in on you like Lagert they did the last time. Who is that man? He sailed in this morning with some other traders. They look, but they don't want to buy anything. They're scouts. Yep. Looks we'll like they were ready. Got a little too far. What were they doing? Looking for weaknesses in our defenses. Seems like they found one. Yeah, but they won't live to share the information. The bishop was in battle with King Ada. This guy actually lived? I can't believe it. Who did this to you? Was it the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok? How big is their army? How many blades of grass are there in a the field? That's a lot. Tell me. Come on. Tell me! Damn you! That's a, uh, that's a man of God. Come that's on. Don't say that to a priest. So King Ayla is defeated. Most horribly and barbarously put to death, sire. I'm sorry to hear it. Are you? Are you really? If anyone can save us, it's my son. I urge you to go back to him, my love. What if I don't want to? Then I shall have to command you, being your king. Sorry, dude, I'm a free woman now. Yeah, that freedom wore off, huh? You've no reason to be afraid. Your father watches over you the whole time. But you are my father. I mean your real father. The monk they called Athelstan. You're being very reasonable about all this with him. Surprisingly, yes. You should be very proud to have a father like him. I'm also proud to have a father like you. Oh, that's nice. See, he's not so bad. I mean, he's still pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here they come. This is what makes them so dangerous, even when they're, like, masked like this. They can get anywhere in England on their boats. Yeah, those boats make a big difference. And they don't have to wear their guys out getting there. My son, I have been a very poor father. But know that I love you with all my heart. I don't think he buys it. That's, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I wonder if he's just saying things to get him psyched up. I think he is too. Because it's all he's ever done is just say things for the public view. It's just political theater. Even this close to your own death. <laughs> when does it stop mattering? I don't think they can truly trouble us. I've fought against them, you haven't. I can only see what my eyes tell me, Bjorn. And what I see is frightened people running before us. You don't know shit. If you want to keep arguing, then I suggest you leave. We don't need you. It must be hard for you to accept that the true heir to the great Ragnarok but you turn out to be a cripple and a reject. That's a bit much. Ivor is kind of standing alone against all of them, though. But he's not being very reasonable, so... No. I mean, if he has a plan, say so. Don't just sit there and say, do what I tell you, dude. Look at you, look at you guys. Lord You've masked up your own guys, okay. What's your estimation of their strength? Between three or four thousand. That's it? That's a lot, though, for them, I guess. We've never seen anything like this before. A great heathen army. There was no doubt in my mind. These are the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok. You better believe it. Floki, get up! What is it? Tenadus is gone. Uh, maybe it's for the better. You don't lock that kid up? No, I'm just kidding. It's supposed to be the daughter. Floki, we have to find her. <laughs> we have to find her, please. <laughs> Helga, for God's sake. Get a freaking grip. She's not your daughter. She probably just wanted to be alone. She's always being clinged on by that girl. There she is. Yeah. yeah even these things Hill goes crazy. Yeah, maybe she is trying to run away. I'm sorry. You hate us. I, I don't know what to do. They all still don't understand each other. Tanadis. Oh, my baby. My baby. Helga, just leave the damn girl alone. She's visibly afraid of her. Yeah. 
she feels safer with Floki than her. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. The hell? Oh. Really? They're actually attacking? Holy shit! Wait, why aren't you guys all part of this great, great heathen army? Because they had other plans. There's quite a few of them out there, too. There is a shitload of them in there. They're attacking from the port, too. I freaking yep. knew it. Everybody's at the walls. Yep. Good lord. It's not a shitload of people, but it's enough. It's swarming in. She sees it now. We're in the wrong place. Toby, keep the method. I'm about to say, we got two fronts to fight on. This is the diversion. The port force is the real one. <laughs> Tell you what, they're clearing the way though. They're dealing with it. <laughs> she was freaking ready. Yeah, she was. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, kill them all. God, what an idiot. Dumbass. Stop! Let him live. This one has information. Yeah. Good job. Ooh, they did some work, though. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Ah, Torvi. Oh, she's oh, alive. Oh, okay, good. Good lord! <laughs> yeah. Don't do that to me! She took an arrow, man. She's a she's been in the wars now. She's yep. battle hardened. You guys are in deep shit. <laughs> when they get back, yeah. Oh yeah. You were a fool to think that she loved you. How could she marry that nobody? Maybe she loves him. Because he's not a stalker. <laughs> May have escaped your attention, but I am not married myself. I don't understand women any more than you do. Well, you keep killing all the women, man. I've seen you do it. <laughs> right. All the lands you conquered, you couldn't find somebody to marry. That's on you. And they can see the crazy on both of you. Yeah. I came to forgive you. It is not your fault you could not wait for me. You probably thought it was an impossible task you had set me in any case. Oh, my. I don't even know your name. My name is Vic. I knew nothing of this arrangement you had with my wife. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. What? Just did that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. If he can't have you, no one can? That's what he's thinking. People, I tell you what. Look at uh, this! <laughs> Roasting him! They say you're called Eggle. Eggle the Bastard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a terrible name. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, he's cooking, too. Who paid for your army? <laughs> you will kill me, burn me alive whether I tell you or not. We'll kill you faster if you answer. Yeah? <laughs> we found your wife. Oh, she was fighting, too. I don't know this woman. <laughs> Just tell them, Eagle. They know the truth, idiot. I was paid by King Harold Fine her. Yep. She gonna kill you. <laughs> the Saxons are less than a day's ride away. They have a large army. We'll make camp here. I want to take a look at where we're going to fight. They will expect us to fight in a certain way. Why should we do that? Survey the battlefield. Yeah. He's got a good point. Yeah? We fight in the shield wall, that's how we fight. But we have a bigger army now. Why do you want to change the tactics? Do you want to win? Obviously. Just let him go survey it. Let's investigate the battlefield. We should stretch the battlefield across a large area, many miles, and use the landscape. Let's go find out so we can get the edge up on them. If it works, it is a good plan. If it doesn't, then it is a bad plan. And we'll all blame you. Can I talk to you? Did she come around? It looks like she did. I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. I should have waited. I never loved him. I loved you. Okay, I don't think so. Never mind. I was wrong, so wrong. I should have waited. And now I see why. You're going to do exactly what you said you would do. No. 
Nobody changes that fast. No, it's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on here, but... She's up to something. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Good Damn. timing. Good timing, Hopton. Seems like, after all, I know women a lot better than you. <laughs> I'd say you're right. Yep, I think you get those bragging rights. <laughs> I know, man. She never actually, she never loved you at all, huh? She was that close. She actually hated you. <laughs> oh, damn. They're prepared. We're gonna scrap, Dan. I think it's gonna happen. Please, God, let it happen. What are you, fanning retreat? Hey, the wolf, don't be a fool. Don't go chasing after him. He's gonna fall right into the trap. They're making you run uphill right now. Son! They got behind you. Oh, you know what they could have? They could have had their forces split up from the beginning so that they could show themselves at different times. Yeah. Yep. They're leading you in a wild goose chase. I think I know what they're doing. They're getting them all to circle so they can get all clumped up together. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. A few easy pickings. There you go, Aether Wolf. You're nice and safe. They're still getting a bunch of them, too. Yeah. I know this isn't all your men. Come on. Y'all better look behind you. Yeah, because they probably got all the high ground on this place. They're not even there. Where's the Wolf? Yep. Ivy, you really have come up with a plan to mess with them. <laughs> They're gonna break them. <laughs> He's gonna blindly charge at them. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, back to running. <laughs> Savior left the ships at Repton. Yes, my lord, later Wolf. We reach Repton first and destroy their ships, and we shall have the better of this battle. It's a plan. Where are they going? To Repton, I imagine. They're going for our boats. Oh, you crippled bastard. <laughs> they were right. <laughs> oh, you bloody mad genius. You were right. <laughs> oh, my God. Interesting. So they actually are walking into a trip. So staying on that field would have been a better bet. Yeah. Yeah, because now you're really vulnerable. And they have the high ground. Ethel, if you just keep leading your guys into freaking danger, they're going to surround you. It's over. Oh, my. <laughs> Charge. No! <laughs> no! Why do you keep doing this? Please, God, tell me we see it in the last episode. We'd better if you start that thing off with Aether Wolf begging for his life. Oh, that's two weeks in a row. It was getting good. I'm are you beautiful crippled bastard. <laughs> that was fun to watch. That was fun to watch. Yeah. I was saying they're wondering where they're going with this. I figured they were going to try to get some kind of terrain advantage on him. He, he was real smart. He knew exactly what they were going to try to do because they weren't going to stand there and chase them around. They had a plan and they walked right into his trap. Yeah. It's, all, it's almost like the one who didn't have a plan was Wolf here. Yeah. He walked in there thinking God was just going to be on our side. But no, the other guys acted like, hey, man, we got to figure this out on our own here. So, and they did. And they and they actually put their trust in their brother on this one. Yeah. I was actually proud of him for that. And Ivar was right. You know, when you go into a battle, you want to know the terrain that you're dealing with so that you can take advantage of it and get the best of your opponents. Yeah. That's what Napoleon did. That's what you know, people like Caesar did. 
you have to know where you're fighting and who you're fighting. Every time Ragnar's gone up against Egbert in like a scrap kind mm -hmm. of situation, he hasn't come out on top. Granted, King Harold was in charge of the army that first time, so they didn't do anything by a plan. Harold just charged right in and said, the gods are with us. This time, they're actually learning from their mistakes. Right. So that's nice to see. And the nice thing, too, is because you're not a small raiding party, you have an actual army with you, it does give you more tactical options, too. Because yes. if you show up with 300 guys, it's harder to outflank your opponent and keep your army you know, decent to where they can stay on the ground. When you have several thousand, you can actually split your forces and do stuff like that. Yeah, and that was good to see. Using different tactics, using your guys, keeping it simple for them. Yeah. It's like, okay, guys, whenever you hear the blast, we move off, you guys move in kind of thing. Yeah, because literally, you're still using your shield wall formation. You're just running from location to location to do it. You're not doing anything yeah. crazy. All of this to try to make him make a move. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep doing it until he does. Until so, he makes the move you want. Or yes. Until you wheel down his forces little by little. Which you eventually would have. So, yeah, smart move there. Let's talk about this battle that took place in, uh, in Kattegat. We did actually get a little fight there. A little so. bit, yeah. I, I keep forgetting that happened, too. I thought we almost lost Torby there for a minute. I'm glad we didn't, so glad you're glad you're going to live to fight another day. I was scared there for a minute. Yeah. She was not moving. But Agel the Bastard here, you actually made a play. At first, it didn't seem like Lagatha was ready for it, but it turned out she kind of was a little bit there. I don't think she realized that it was a two-part plan. Okay. Now, the Palisades obviously did their job. It kept the, the one army at bay so that with the forces they had, they were able to hold their ground no problem. Is the fact that they were being attacked from two sides, I think, kind of caught them off guard. Unfortunately, she saw it, and she was able to come up with a plan to stop it, but it almost worked out. Yeah, it probably might have benefited you more to just send your full force at one side here, because you're getting bogged down in the streets there, and that ended up playing the Lagatha's favor, because she could just hold you at bay with fire. So, right. Yeah, it worked out there. But, Egil has gone and, under the duress of torture, given up his pairs there. Harold and his brother. Mm -hmm. I don't know when this is going to happen, but at some point, Harold Finehair is going to have to answer for this. And a number of other things, because he just killed a queen of Denmark and her husband. Well, an earl's wife, what would she be? No, because she was actually a queen. Or she's a princess or something. She's some kind of royalty in Denmark. Okay, yeah. Well, he didn't kill her. His brother. Yeah, yeah these guys are making stupid decisions, but she did try to kill, try to, try to end his life there, so. And he had it coming. You, know, you don't just go up to a... a, a and Woman's bury your axe in somebody's head. Yeah. And then for you to be stupid enough to think she would actually just come on to you like right after that. Seriously, dude? Because I'm sitting here like, there's no way. <laughs> you know? You truly are delusional. I can see why she didn't want you in the first place. Yeah, man. But it's like, now that you've seen him around uh, around women that he likes, you see, you can see the crazy. Yeah. And it's like the obsession. You can you can see like what it is that's motivating you to do, th do certain things. He's kind of like a mafia boss. He... he does whatever he has to get what he wants. Question is, do you still want it? Now that now that this has happened, we'll ask him that question when he actually goes, if he goes back to Kattegat, true, too. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you still want this? Is any of this worth it? I mean, the thing is now, it don't matter. He's done pissed off Lagatha. He's got to deal with her. He can say, okay, it doesn't. I don't need to be king of Norway anymore. Well, doesn't matter. You, She wants blood. Yeah. If she could somehow get word to Bjorn. Yeah. And tell him, hey, Harold had forces attack Kattegat. You could end that right there in England. Yeah, cut his head off, him and his brother, and it's done. And just tell the and just tell the men, it's like, hey, either you fight with us or you can die like them. Pretty much. I know. Because because I mean, at that point, who's gonna challenge Lagatha if Harold's out of the way? Because from my understanding, he's like the strongest other person there. Yeah, that's a good point. It's getting interesting because now we're seeing tactics in the Viking in the Viking realm ranks here. Mm-hmm. So, it's good to see that Ivor is actually kind of showing off his actual quality here. And that's what he's got up here. I'm curious to see where he goes with this. Because you're about to have a... Supposedly, you're about to have a fight. You'd better be <laughs> about to have a fight. We'd better see a fight, yeah. Yes. What, what comes next? There's more seasons to this. Mm -hmm. You've got to be alive in some of those. So, where do we go from here with you, Ivor? As far as the fight, I don't know... I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward fight because at this point, Aether Wolf is surrounded. There's really nothing else he can do. He's clearly just blindly charging his men into the into the battle to see what he can do. I don't see there being any more strategy to it than that. They're just going to end up clashing and the Vikings are definitely going to come out on top. Your dad really did send you to your death. Yeah, and that that's something that's kind of been bothering me too is like, what's going on with Egbert? Because at first it seems like he's not interested in ruling. He's trying to be a more 
I guess a better father, a better king. And then at the end, it seems like he's back to his old ways with the son. Seems like it. At first, I bought that I, I love you with all my heart that he gave him. And Aether Wolf was starting to buy it, too. You, and can then, see, you can see him trying to go in for the hug and then having to pull himself away. Yeah, and then it's like, why would you say that now, you know? I don't know there, man. That's Eckbert, you know, I was I really liked you for a while. I don't think I do anymore. <laughs> He's so. getting weird in his old age. You know, I liked him when he was the clever, clever king who had control of everything and, and you know, was willing to live life to the fullest. I don't know what he's doing now. It just feels like he's needlessly sacrificing people and just, just quit caring. He might have. I mean, it sounds like his whatever story he has in this show, in this series, is coming to an end. So maybe he maybe he did quit caring, and maybe it's just like his time is up, so may as well just pull a few strings here. Who knows? Send the puppets where they go. Maybe he's trying to do a Ragnar and go out his own way by repositioning everything to, to go the way he wants it to. I'd be interested to see what that looks like. So. But also, Helga, you're nuts. <laughs> yes. I really hate seeing how clingy you are over this child, because you were never like this before. You cared for your child, but you certainly weren't like batshit about it. Mm -hmm. Now you won't even let her go. I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little bit concerned for Helga as to whether or not she lives past this, past the end of this series. Because it, that's She's having mental health problems here, so yeah. She's having mental health problems. It's obvious that the little girl doesn't like being around her. Floki can see that, I think. Yeah. And so you have to wonder, does Floki kill Helga? Does save the child? Or does the child kill Helga just out of just like tired of being around her? I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't. Pa I wouldn't put any of those ideas past, past it. You know. I could see Floki doing it and it destroying him mm -hmm. to do it. But if it meant saving an innocent child like that, would he? Or if it's like you're you're about to threaten other people with your with your uh, insanity here, and I can't have that. You're forcing me to make a decision here because other lives are at stake. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's where obsession leads. It leads to other problems. So. This is, you know, it's getting bad with her, and I feel really horrible for the, uh, for this little girl, Tenarus. Yeah, she already had to deal with so much, and she's just now stuck with this crazy person who won't let her go. Yeah. I mean, it's suffocating. It is. And you can tell the little girl, it's like, man, it was just nice not being around you for five minutes. Mm hmm We got things coming up. Hopefully big things. One more episode, and that's going to be the end of season four. Yes, guys. That being said, guys, for those of you who are here for your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull fam. Skull Dan. Skull Joe. Later, guys. Skull.